Hi, good morning. My name is Wayne, and this is Abiba, one of my students. And we're going to show you how to make pasta, fresh pasta. Uh, pasta is used for lots of different dishes. Can you name me one type of pasta? Spaghetti. Oh, yes, yeah, spaghetti. And another one? Macaroni. Macaroni, that's very good. This is the finished dough, so it's quite soft and pliable. And it takes probably about 30 minutes to rest, so we've done this one already. The ingredients that we've got for pasta, we use strong flour as opposed to plain flour um, because this has got a, a much higher gluten content and it can stretch. The other ingredient we're going to need is a little bit of salt that's already in the flour. We need some eggs and some olive oil. Any olive oil would do for this. So what I'm going to do Bring this across to Aviva. She needs to make a little well, a little hole in the middle. So if you can do that. We've got 200 grams of flour here and we've got two eggs that we've beaten up together. I'm going to put the eggs into the middle of the flour and give Aviva the fork. Then I'm going to add about a teaspoon of olive oil. Now traditionally when you make this, it's made on a bench and you're just coming in from the edges with the flour. What we're going to do is use the fork, moving the bowl around to combine the ingredients. That's good, working all the way around and it will come together in the middle. Now just while the baby's doing that, I'm going to get a tiny bit of cold water in case we may need it just to make the dough a bit more pliable. Now once you get to this stage, if I can just step in, you can clean your fork off, like so. You can have one clean hand, and it's like making pastry where we bring it in together. So you can do that, Abiba. Now it's very deceiving a pasta dough because it looks as though it's going to come together um, but then it can be a little bit dry so you need to work it, lightly pinching it, working it all the way around and then at a certain point you'll decide whether you need to have any liquid, any additional liquid which in this case would be cold water. Can I have a quick look please Aviva, just clean your fingers off. You can see that that bit is starting to get tacky. It's got rather a lot of dry residue around the outside. So what we're going to do, in our bowl that we add, mix the eggs, we're going to put a tiny bit of cold water at a time. And this should start to bring the pasta together. Do you want to go and dry your hands and then you can have a go at the kneading? starting to come together starting to get soft just a tiny bit more liquid and that should clean up the bowl and bring the pasta together right do you want to have a quick feel of that pasta dough feel how soft it is and tacky now once we've done that, the next ingredient we're going to need is some semolina. Can you bring that to a moment please? We're going to put a little bit on the bench, a tiny bit. Semolina is used for kneading and rolling out um, pasta dough as opposed to flour. Flour makes it very sticky. So if you see that, even though it is slightly tacky, it's not as sticky as using flour. We need to knead it to get it smooth. So what I'm going to do is just roll over. When we make bread, we normally stretch it right out. We're not doing that. We're just rolling the edges over, folding it back in, like so, with a tiny bit more semolina, only a little bit of time, like that. Would you like to have a go at this? 
just use the heel of your hand and just keep turning it over and it will go smooth. That's, it. That's good. Keep turning it round. Tiny bit more semolina. It's good, keep rolling it around. And after about a minute of working, pasta dough will become quite smooth. Then it needs to rest for 30 minutes. So we place it in some cling foam, leave it out at room temperature for 30 minutes. And then when it's rested, we're going to be using the pasta machine. Thank you very much.